Hey guys, it's Archon. Welcome to Inferno Friday. As I'm sure all of you guys know, Reaper of Souls has launched. If you guys missed the launch party, it was awesome. A ton of fun. Now that the game's out, we all have to level up really quickly. I'm actually not even sure why you're watching this YouTube video right now. You should be gearing up your character. Maybe you're doing it at the same time. Good on you. Anyways, I just want to make sure you guys have all the information and tools you need to make sure you're gearing up your character right and making good decisions in the game. So I've got some updates, a few gear guides, and some things I think you guys should check out. Let's go ahead and get started with the announcement that was made at the Reaper of Souls launch party. Now a lot of people didn't even know about this announcement. The audio was pretty bad at the event during the Q&A is when they made the announcement. A lot of people didn't hear it and Blizzard still hasn't posted an official announcement online as far as I can tell. But Droth Vader, MVP on the forums, was nice enough to post the transcript script and we're getting ladders guys I know most of you know already but we're getting ladders how exciting is that this is the thing that we wanted I mean this and PvP were the two things that players have been asking for and they announced it we don't have many details on it yet but I think they're calling it seasons because that's more specific to what it is I think that implies that it's going to be a reset like ladders was but not as much of a competition as ladders is and that comes in in the second point but I think the seasons is the most important part of that if you have an economy reset it means you can turn up the drop chance and you can really let players gear up really quickly because even if they get awesome gear really fast it's going to reset again anyway so I don't know if they're going to be playing with the drop chance at all again we haven't gotten any details they have said that there'll probably be some um, season specific legendaries they might be throwing in some goodies for us and so uh, it should be really cool I think they're going to do it right and this is really what we needed at this point um, I know most of the Big players in D2 played on ladder, and I think it's going to be the same here, and I am so excited for Seasons to start. This is all supposed to come in the first major content patch, so in other words, 2.1. Who knows when that will be, probably a few months down the road. But we're also getting the second feature they announced, which is Tiered Rifts. Now, it's not PvP, but I think this really might be better than PvP. That's a personal opinion. I just don't think that traditional PvP is very good in a game like Diablo 3. Mostly because they didn't have PvP in mind at all when they're designing it. And if you develop a game for 8 plus years and the whole thing is PvE centered, trying to just throw PvP in the last minute doesn't work out as we saw. Brawling's a great example. I know some people still want traditional PvP, but I think this is a better system. This is like a competitive PvE system. When you complete a rift, there's a chance for a greater rift key to drop. And then the greater rift key is the same thing, just harder. And if you beat that, you get a greater rift key rank 2. If you beat that, it goes to rank 3, and it just keeps getting higher and higher and higher and higher, and there's going to be a leaderboard showing who gets to the highest tier rift. And then if there's a tie, it'll go by the time it took them to complete that rift. So it's just a way to compete against everyone else around the world at something using your gear. It's exactly what we needed is some endgame, something to do with your gear after you find it. Because up until now, Diablo's always been grinding gear so you can grind gear faster and now you actually will have something to show for it so I think these two things um, are the two things we really needed most I hope we get some more competitive PvE modes in there uh, the tier drifts a great start but I think it might get boring pretty quickly but it is they are going in the right direction and let's be honest they've been going in the right direction since the game came out uh, there was a lot of problems with the game on release and they made a lot of bad decisions before it came out but if you look at every patch since the game's come out you look at everything they've done in the expansion and you look at what they're doing now they're going in the right direction so anyways moving on enough on that I wanted to show you some of these awesome gear guides um, also a quick side note if you guys want to watch the actual q and I'll have a link to it below in the description. The first gear guide I want to show you is this legendary mat guide. Really, really useful if you get any legendary plans and you need to know where to find the legendary mats. And on a side note, this is a really cool idea. Basically, each mat drops in certain locations around the world. Some of them have one specific location, some of them have a couple. But what it means is, once you get the plans to make a certain legendary, you can just look up on this guide, which will be linked below in the description, where to farm that legendary mat and just farm right there which is really cool I really like the idea of farming for specific gear is something I wanted a while ago I thought it'd be a good way to make purple mobs more useful is if you made certain purple mobs drop certain items or certain uh, enemy types but I have to say that this is 
I think even a bit better really incorporating crafting in there. So there's a lot of mats and they all are specific to one uh, legendary or a set of legendaries. And uh, it's really cool. Yeah, I found a set yesterday. I need to farm in Dolgar Oasis, it turns out. But use this guide if you get any legendary plans and you'll know where to farm. Also, another guide that was posted on Diablo fans was this that tells you what bonuses you can get on different pieces of gear. So here he organized it by um, slot. You can see on the head slot, he shows you what bonuses you can get, what skills you can get pluses to, or what elemental types. Um, I actually like the way that Diablo fans organized it. They took the same information and they organized it by class. Uh, so first you can see all classes and then by each class. But if you have a specific build in mind, specific skills you want to focus on, specific elemental types, then this is a really good list to figure out, okay, what pieces do I need to enchant or find? What legendaries can I get to get bonuses to what I already have? And um, I really like this system. I think it's a really good replacement for the skill tree because we all love the skill tree in Diablo 2. I was even advocating it for a while in Diablo 3 uh, but you start to realize that there's a lot of problems with the skill tree. I think Marvel Heroes actually pointed out that there's a lot of problems with traditional skill trees um, but what I think we re all really like from skill trees is the ability to commit to a certain build to say I want to invest in this build I know I'm going to be worse at other things or not able to do them but I'm going to be really good at this and that's what's going to make me feel powerful is that I'm specialized and now you can still do that. It's not as strong of a commitment as the D2 skill tree, which I think is a good thing. It was probably too strong of a commitment. You don't want to just misclick and screw up your character. Um, but you still have that commitment. You can still say, I like these skills. I like this build. I'm going to specialize, and then I'll be better at other people in the same class with the same build. You can't just hop around from build to build and, and just be better than everyone else because your gear is better. You can actually specialize in a certain build. So I think that's awesome, and I hope this guide will help you guys. I'll link to both of those pages below. Before we get into the Archon Recommend section, I just wanted to point out one thing. At the European Reaper of Souls launch event, they had some streamers on Skype. Uh, they asked me and a few other people to be there, but we could because we were doing the LA event, so they asked us to record a video that would be played at the European event. And I have no idea if they played it. And I can think of a good reason why they wouldn't play it, so I thought I'd show it to you guys, and you guys can tell me if you saw it at the event or just what you think. Hey guys, Archon the Wizard here. I'm a streamer and YouTuber. You might have caught me dancing to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song or doing some yoga with my viewers. But turns out I play a bit of Diablo 3 as well, and I am crazy excited about Reaper of Souls. Like you guys, I think Reaper of Souls is really bringing what Diablo needs to the game. I think it has one of the best dev teams in the world, headed up by the fantastic Mr. Josh Mascara. M Mascara? Not Mascara. Is it always... Josh Mascara, I think, is just doing a great job with the game. Adventure mode, bounties, Nephilim rifts, the itemization is amazing. PvP. No PvP? No. So that's pretty much what I sent them. I still have no idea if anyone saw it, but at least you guys are going to see it now. Let me know in the comments if you watched the European event. You can let me know if they played it at all. But I haven't heard anything about that yet. Moving on, last week I added a section called Archon Recommends and pointed out I don't have a graphic for it yet. Well, M. Cutler from the stream was nice enough to make a graphic for me for Archon Recommends. That's pretty awesome, right? Really skilled guy. He's making some really cool stuff for us. Let's show it one more time. Archon recommends. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, moving on, let me show you what I recommend this week. First of all, if you guys haven't seen this yet, anyone who bought the collector's edition of Diablo can do this really cool thing. You point your phone at the book and things pop out. I'm starting to feel really old because this looks like magic to me. I, I don't understand how that works. That's crazy. You can move it around. I've seen things like this, but that one looks really good before. It's in the collector's edition book. All you have to do is download the app, Blizzard AR Viewer. It's completely free. I'll have a link to the iPhones one. I couldn't get a link to the, the Android one, but really cool. And if you don't have the Collector's Edition, you can just download a PDF and mess around with it anyways. I haven't done it yet, but uh, there's a link to that PDF below as well. And uh, if you're looking in the Collector's Edition book, this symbol right here will be on any page that you can do that on. So really cool. Also, if you got the Collector's Edition, just a cool interview with me and some of the other streamers. Check that out. And the last thing I want to recommend before showing you one last thing and ending the video is this Carbot animation. If you guys have not seen the Carbot animation for the Reaper of Souls trailer, watch it. It's hilarious. They took the actual audio from the trailer and put their own 
video into it. Uh, if you haven't seen Carbot Animations, they're great. They did the official uh, Heroes of the Storm announcement trailer, and uh, they do a lot of StarCraft videos. They're great videos, and this one's hilarious. Watch it as soon as you have 4 minutes and 30 seconds, or do it while you're playing Diablo so you don't lose any farming time. Either way, it's a great video. Uh, just one more thing. I want to talk about the stream a little bit because I'm back. I think I'm back for good. I can't stream as long, but I really want to turn up the quality, and I have some good ideas. I want to make the stream as fun as it ever was, and then some. So uh, I can't talk much about the ideas because we're still trying to figure out the details, and it might change a lot, but I threw out an idea to M. Cutler, the guy who made the Archon Recommends graphic, yesterday morning, and by last night, he had this awesome mock-up for the idea we're thinking of that I wanted to show you guys. So I'll go ahead and leave you guys with that clip. You guys can speculate away. Let me know what you think. I think it's going to be really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, and I'll have another one for you soon.